M0 FXB, we're going to add a normal FM repeater to our MD380. So we've got a blank code plug here. So you've just had this radio come through the post. You just want to use it as a normal radio, not DMR, just an FM repeater radio. So first thing we might as well do is go into uh, general settings. We might as well put our call sign in. Although for normal radio, you don't really need it. M0FXB. Okay, and then if you've got a DMR number, you might as well put it in there. Um, so close that down. So let's create a zone that we're going to how so we can easily find our FM repeaters. So because once you've created one channel, you can create as many, you know, several channels. So we're going to go double click zone and we already have the a zone automatically created. So double click that zone and call it at the top here FM repeaters and what I would do if I created a digital zone I would call it digital repeaters anyway so you've created that okay and then just click add now it automatically adds another zone for you you could delete that if you want like so right click it delete it but normally it's nice to have a spare one there so anyway you've created a zone now we need to create the channel that's going to go into the zone and you can remember you can create several channels and put them into the zone and the whole point of a zone is that when you're you turn on your radio you go to a zone and in that zone you can find channels or repeaters and then um, so the the reason you have it makes sense to put I'd say digital DMR repeaters into a separate zone and call it DMR repeaters it's easier for you to find it and that's the basics of zones so now because it's an FM repeater we don't have to create what you call a digital contact because that is a DMR thing so this is going to be nice and straightforward so and quite fun as well so double click that. so you've done that you've created the zone but see the channel the channels are empty um, so I've just realized we're doing this for the MD380 UV, that's it, VHF, UHF, dual band radio. Um, and we'll do the simplex MD380 afterwards. So now just go to channel. And we're only going to do one and then you'll know how to do it. Double click channel and you, the first thing you do is name the channel. So let's call it um, GB. 3WR local repeater and we know that the receive frequency of that channel is 145.600 now we don't use shifts what we do we just put in the input so the input um, is going to be 600 shift so 145.000 so we've got that and you always end up putting two extra noughts than you're used to putting. Now set the um, power, power to medium and then do the timeout at 180. It gives you three minutes to talk. Everything else looks fine. Actually I, I did the power in the wrong place didn't I? It's down here, sorry, at the bottom. Right, <coughs> so uh, leave them as they were. Right, okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to do the N code or the tone. So as soon as you, you can ignore these ones. You're not really going to use these ones here. So all you do is, is choose the one. And just by choosing it, you effectively turn on the, um, the tone. So you click um, Add. Right, so we've created the channel. Now you could create more channels. It automatically adds one here. Now just remember for ease you can copy and paste these channels. So if I copy it and just put one underneath and paste, everything's already been put in there that I've already done and I can just tweak it. But anyway, we're not going to do that now so because we're just creating one channel. Right, so now we need to just, this is the bit you need to remember. You create a channel, you create a zone, but then you've got to remember to put the channel into the zone. Otherwise you're not going to find it when you put it on the radio. So the simplest way, to, the only way to do that is to double click the zone. Yeah, so we'll double click zone, sorry, click zone. Then it shows 
the zones you've got. Then click the zone you're going to put it in. And we're going to put it in FM repeaters. And then you have, you have to, this is the last bit, you have to remember to send it um, into the channel. So it's automatically sent the first channel in already on the A band. So whatever happens, when you turn the radio on, you would have gone to zone FM repeaters and you would have seen GBD3WR, but it hasn't put anything in the B band. So you can create a different channel if you want and put it in the B band. So we do that anyway. Let's just turn that one into, um, go like this. We'll go GB3 Bravo Charlie. And that is, we know that, I know that the uh, shift on that is 145750. And let's add the two zeros. And let's just go 145150. That's the 600 shift, a couple of those. Uh, middle powers, all, everything's already in there. We just had to change the name and slightly tweak the frequency. And then the, um, the, the sorry the tone burst on that on both these repeaters I, I just remembered is 94.8 so that's fine so we'll click add if you like we'll go back what I'm going to do I'm going to right click and delete that one we don't need that one I'm going to click double G GB3 WR again and I'm just going to change that to 94.8 right so now go back to zone double click F and repeaters and now what we'll do is on the A band we'll have GB3WR and on the B band we'll just put BC. So when the radio turns on, um, you will see on the screen um, GB3WR at the top and GB3BC at the bottom. And so you've got a very uh, good um, dual band uh, FM radio now. And, and, and I've used the MD380 Retivis RT3 and, and they and the RT3s and they work very well as normal radios So the last thing you've got to do is you've got to plug the cable in your radio and you've got to send that to your radio Now I haven't got my radio connected um, But as soon as you plug it in your computer should detect it and there's lots of videos about USB cables So I hope that helps you set up a couple of uh, FM repeaters on your um, DMR radio 73 please subscribe and like catch you on air